Hey guys, just wanted to show some new flow that I started using uh, when reviewing my JPDB cards. Um, just to kind of cut down on some of the number. So I'll show you the problem first and then I'll show you the solution that I have. So when you start reviewing, um, it'll show you a card and then the only way to get past this is by either you know answering it correctly or pa uh, failing. But if you're taking a test, you know that sometimes it's more effective to skip that question and move on, get some more done, and then come back when you, you know, only have five questions that you didn't know, and then the rest of them are taken care of, instead of just having that as a block. You know, every time that you come back to this, it's just always this. It's not randomized in any way. Um, and so a way that I found that kind of goes around that and uh, sets it up almost like a test is by going to your all vocabulary deck sorting only showing your do and usually this would show you kind of like this where there's a definition and the furigana above but um, i have a little extension up here that i'm using that i'll show here in a sec that hides the ruby text above and the definition so then all you have left are your vocab that's due and then if you select all i command a or control a for windows parse with the jpdb reader extension then all these are shown as do so they're in orange so then you can kind of skip through all right oh, i don't know that one don't know that one and then you just you know pick out ones that are simple all right that one was good and then you can cut down on your reviews and get it down to maybe you know 10 or 20 that take more thought and then you can go through and do your reviews as normal if you want to or do them on mobile um, just some easy and quick way to take care of some of those so what you need to do this is the jpdb reader extension um, if you look this up on google it'll come up if not i'll put a link in the description to make it easier i guess follow the steps on github doesn't really matter um, what your settings are there defaults fine i do have all of my keys mapped um, so then if i hover over this and i also have them on a mouse that i showed off in one of the other videos i have where if i click a button then it will grade it so that if one's really obvious you have sudo in here or something you can just review it from your mouse without even opening up this you know modal view whatever you call it um, and then you also, what I'm using is called Stylebot. It's a Chrome extension. I, I don't know, there's probably better stuff out there. I just clicked on the first link on Google. So I'll show you what I did. So open Stylebot. It's kind of finicky on here and it only shows up if I make the window smaller for whatever reason. So now you get to look at Shiki in the background. Um, and so I just have two things targeted. First one is the Ruby text, and so I'll, I'll put this into the, the description below, but basically this is just targeting, okay, the overdue container, which is just this big outer rectangle, then the any Ruby text inside, and then the RT, which is, I'm assuming, just Ruby text, and so uh, you'll type this in up here, and then come down here to click hide, so when it's unhidden, you can see that it's that's what we're hiding is just that furigana above the reading so i'll click hide and then same thing this one is targeting the overdue outer container the div inside of it which is just kind of narrowing it down a little bit and then the div inside of that last of type which is just so this is a div which is just a container it doesn't really matter and then the last of type is just the div underneath it, which is the definition. And so then you'll also click this hide button down here because that just hides the meaning. And yep, so hopefully that helps somebody else. I think it'll, I mean, I just got this working uh, maybe an hour ago and thought it was pretty cool and works exactly how I want it to. So hopefully this works for you guys.